Good luck, everybody, and pieces of the past coming up. We're getting ready for treasure, and we've got ourselves a little race action right before the rip starts. This is uh, winner gets three spots in the race, and let's start ourselves up a little bit of race action. Good luck. Let's see what we get here. Shuffle seven times. Lucky number seven on your mark. Get set. Go. Ten seconds left in the race. All right, all right. Okay, Ivan, you got that thing. Oh, wow. Congratulations. So this is your spots in the break, Ivan. You just won three spots. Let's start at the box break. So James, it was a race for spots. And that is how a lot of these fillers work. And that was the filler part of the break. So Ivan just got three spots for the price of one in that filler um, but you'll see a lot of stuff like that in our filler section where you can win spots and it was for three spots it said two in the title my bad my mistake but it was for three it was $5.99 with $18 retail value three spots retail value all right let's get to the rip and let's start at the break so James is probably wondering well, what, what when do we start the break it's time to start the break now bro let me make sure I've got all my spots correct. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, 19 total spots. So this is where you get your letter randomly. We're going to random each list seven times and stack the lists up side by side. Ho! So each list goes through the random.org randomizer. Bing, bang, boom. Lucky number seven. First random is done. Last name, letter, initial, random. Seven times. Lucky number... Seven. So we'll stack the list up side by side. Now you can see your last name letter. Ho! Oh, good luck, everybody. I'm going to put this in alphabetical order. You know, James can be up there at the top of letter A. All right, I'm going to get rid of this little section here. We don't need that anymore. It is last name letter, everyone. Last name letter. So as long as you know that, we don't need to see that. Let's see what we got here. This is a one hit break. This is one hit. Oh my. What's it going to be? What is it? It is one hit. Historic autographs. Or no, this is a super break. Who makes this product? Super break. Pieces of the past. What's it going to be? Declaration of Independence Relic. So what do we have here? So 
So, I mean, we all know that's not the real Declaration of Independence right there. It is some kind of authentic relic from one of the signers, I'm sure, of the, the Declaration of Independence. One of the signers of the, that, and uh, I'm sure you could probably go to the website and find out more about this relic. But, I mean, we all know it's not for, it's not from the original Declaration of Independence. That wouldn't, that, that's not what we're looking at here. It looks like it's allegiance. Is that word, the word allegiance? I don't know. To the. Almost looks like the Pledge of Allegiance. But it's some kind of document, obviously. Some kind of document here. So really interesting. You can see someone's name, Joseph. So anyway, who knows? A lot of speculation around this thing. I do not know. But it is, for the record... An authentic relic of the Declaration of Independence. We don't have a last name. I do not know how to award this. I think it says there's no last name that goes random between everybody. I think that's the rule. Let me check the rules. Any card without a last name will be random. So this is going to go to random. There is no last name designated. Okay, so there is no last name associated with this that I know of. Maybe after you do a ton of research, you can figure out that this might be pertaining to an individual. I don't know, but it certainly just appears to be a Declaration of Independence. No last name. It's going to go to random, as said in the description. Um, it's not going by the name of the card. This is what it says in the description, word for word. That's what it says. So, um, I don't look at that as being a last name. Most, most cards have are referring to a person, but some of them are not. Look at there. There's a Bitcoin. But a lot of these are people. I think that's the intention here. Any card without any last name. So, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on awarding this though because I want to be absolutely sure what was intended and everything. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna go to random to everybody. I'm gonna pause for a moment. We're gonna move on to the next break real quick. I'm gonna link up a few things. 
and then I'm going to uh, find out how we've done it in the past with this break because what we do is um, whatever I'm a little bit unsure I always confer with our team and look at what we've done in the past for our breaks with like that and then I'll make a if we have any more of these I'll make a uh, correction to the or you know get a more elaborate description uh, to you know avoid any more questions about it but I think the way that we've always done these is a person's last name. But let me see. I'm getting something from our team right now. So maybe I'll be able to do this right now. That's right, so I'll be making a part two to our video, and you'll see that part two come up in just a moment. 